Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, I go over Sony PlayStation on Android, which emulator I recommend using. Let's get started. So I've tried a bunch of PlayStation emulators on a few phones, old and new. I've most notably used a Samsung Galaxy S4, a Samsung Galaxy S5, and a Samsung Galaxy S7. Uh, with no surprise, the Samsung Galaxy S7 performed the best. Uh, I will say that the PlayStation is a more modern console in terms of retro gaming. Um, it, it requires a little bit more power than, for example, running an SNES emulator or a, you know, a Sega Genesis emulator or a Game Boy emulator. Uh, the PlayStation is far more advanced than that, so you will be better off with a newer phone. That being said, you can run some games with an older phone, it just might not run as smoothly. So my first recommendation for you to try is EPSXE. Now, the big problem here is there is no free version, so there only is a paid version. I believe it's $3.75 US. In Canada, that translates to about $4.25. This app is updated quite frequently. Uh, it was last updated here June 15th of this year. It runs on Android 2.2 and up. However, if you are running a device with Android 2.2, I can pretty confidently say that this might not run very well. With that being said, you will require a PlayStation 1 BIOS in order for this emulator to work correctly. Also, games will have to be decompressed, so if you have a game in a .zip file or a .7z file, you will need to decompress them. Fortunately, there is also a plugin for this app called the EPSXE 7-Zip plugin, which is pretty handy and makes life a lot easier if you don't have a .7z uh, app to un or decompress these files. This app is also free, which is great, so you don't have to pay for additional things here. And my second recommendation, as usual, is RetroArch. Now, RetroArch is a little bit more difficult to get set up than EPSXE. However, it works very well. If you have a smartphone or a device that has a lot of power behind it, uh, if it's very new and you know the latest and greatest out there, then RetroArch might actually be an option to consider. RetroArch runs a little worse on less powerful devices. For example, I did run into a few frame rate issues with my Samsung Galaxy S4. On the S5, it was a little better, and on the S7, it was better even yet. However, if you do have a more up-to-date phone, I would highly recommend RetroArch over EPSXE simply because it's free. So RetroArch is completely open source and it works very well. And Mednafen is the back end core I'd recommend if you do have a very high power device. A close runner up is FPSE for Android. I tried out this emulator. It's all right. Uh, it's more popular than EPSXE for some reason uh, and it costs $3.60. Now this emulator, I found sound issues on the Galaxy S4, S5, and S7. Uh, I wasn't too impressed with it overall. It works if you don't need to listen to sound at all. Uh, but at the same time, I just found the EPSXE emulator considerably easier to use and get going and run without issues. And RetroArch, I just found is a better overall solution because RetroArch is free. Now, in regards to BIOS files, there's a couple of sites to reference. First and foremost is MU Paradise. Uh, you can scroll down and see the systems, as well as uh, MU Gen emulator files. And this is its own little wiki page here, which gives you some great information regarding BIOS files. So if you are on the fence about emulating PlayStation and whether or not your phone can run it, uh, EPSXE is probably your best bet. Again, all emulators perform different on different devices, so I won't be able to say whether or not this will work on your phone. Uh, if you want to go the free route, you can check out RetroArch. So this is a completely free solution. Uh, however, it does require a bit of uh, setup. It's not the easiest to get going or get going well, but it is an option. If you want to spend the money and, and see if it works, try EPSXE. Uh, check Google's refund policy to see if you can get it refunded if it doesn't work on your phone. That's all I've got for today. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. 
please hit that subscribe button. Thank you, everyone. Take care.